What's going on, Juco? They're saying many are called, but few are chosen. Well, for Trey, he's one of the chosen ones. Now, we all know he had a chance to go to a major power five school, but he chose the route to really go to a school and really grind and get it out the mud. And that's what he did. Now, he's on the cusp of winning the Heisman Trophy. Now, can he win the Heisman Trophy? I believe he can. He put his team on his back. Now, we sitting on 3 0, taking on Temple, who's 1 and 4. Now, this kid, when I say he's special, one of a kind, with a flick of a wrist, he can sling it 50, 60 yards. Easy. Now, we all know to get that recognition to win his Heisman Trophy, most of the time, well, all the time, you need to go to a Power 5 school. And like I say, for Trey, he didn't want to take the easy route. He definitely wanted to grind. He definitely wanted to show people that it don't matter what school you go to, as long as you got the skill, determination, and that hard work, you can succeed at any school. And that was his model, man. And like I say, with a flick of a wrist, this kid can throw it 50, 60, 70 yards. Yeah, you know, I keep saying this kid is special. This kid is special. Now the only knock on this kid, he really haven't started many games, and that's one knock that NFL scouts definitely will pay attention to. And arm strength is there, talent is there. A lot of times the decisions, thinking that his arm gonna make the throws, that's going to be a costly decision at the next level. Well, he's going to throw a lot of interceptions, fumbles. But as far as God-given gift ability, this kid can run with the best of them. As I ask again, the big question remains, can this dude win a Heisman Trophy playing at Charlotte? Can he put Charlotte program, football program on the map? My answer is yes. You know, a lot of people say he can't win because he don't play for the Alabamas, the Georgias. I say, hell, if you can play, damn it, you can play. And one thing about Trey coming into this season, it was no mercy for nobody as we end up thumping Temple. 375 passing touchdown, 150 running, two scores, as we end up beating them breaks off Temple, 56-24. to Now, the next team on the schedule was Memphis, and we was finally ranked sitting at 4-0, as I say. It was no holes barred this season. Trey wasn't taking no mercy for nobody as Phillips picks up 57, his first catch of the season right here. This just goes shows his strength, but couldn't quite escape that sack. That's okay, that's something that you rarely see, but third and 25 right here, this just a playmaking ability. Flick of the wrist, and we damn near pick up the first down. We pick up 21, the coach said, hell, go for it. That's how much trust he have in Trey. Fourth and four right here, breaks two tackles. You don't see many, very, very many quarterbacks doing that as we punches our way in the end zone. And we already up 7 to nothing against Memphis. One of the teams that actually truly wanted a train. Unless I say he wanted to put Charlotte on the map. Coming at rank number 19 for the first time in program history. This program was on, on the rise. It's Mac catching the touchdown pass. As we go up 14 to nothing. Clemens, we got playmakers all over the field. That pass catch by the tight end. No, it's absolutely beautiful as we go 12, 21 to nothing right here. You just can't teach this. You just cannot teach this. Trey picks up 30 on the play, second and 10, and right here, he's just showing off the orange strength. As you can see, game by game, he's getting smarter. The coaches staff gave him the full keys to the team, and now he can audible, hot route, change plays if he felt like. That's how much confidence they have in this kid. Right here, he scrambles and picks up 18. Second and 10 right here. Many points in the pocket, man. Throwing the D once again to that boy Walters. And he actually fumbles for a good heads up by the other receiver as he gets scooped up. And we already up 35 to nothing. First and 10 once again. Quarterback spy. Quarterback spy. That don't matter. This dude is just unreal. Take out the speed. 
6'5", 240, running like this, it's going to be scary, man. His ceiling, he has a very high ceiling as we end up on another touchdown to Leon. We are 42 to nothing, as I see. It should, we showing no mercy to nobody this season. As Walters, the way he him cross the middle, he picks up 32 on the play. First and 10, and he's only going to get smarter, better, faster, stronger. Would it be this easy in the NFL? Of course not. But as I say, with the right coaching around him, with the right staff around him, right, the right pieces around him, this kid going to be dangerous, man. Definitely going to be dangerous. Hey, we end up thumping Memphis 539 through the air, five rushing passing touchdown, 118 and one score on the ground. We end up winning 70 to 35. Now, at this point, we taking on 4-2 and two UCF. Now, we moved up to number 15 spot, sitting at 5-0. and oh. Now, it's whispers going around the college football world that your boy Trey has definitely creeped into the conversation, Heisman conversation, and that's no surprise to him. It's just news to y'all. The receiver picks up 31 as we end up striking quickly. We already up 7 to nothing, but first and 10, everybody downfield, we just dump it off. What a smart play call by Trey. A beer who picks up 19 yards, first and 10, as I say. The coach himself gave a green light for this kid to call audible plays, hot route, whatever. That's how much confidence they got in this kid. And right here, we hit Mac, and Mac picks up 39. When you have a quarterback that can run and throw, that just puts major pressure on the defense. As they end up scoring, so we up 14 to 7 right here. We throwing it deep. To Mac and Mac catches a deep pass. That's still set up first and goal. And right here, a quick strike to Mac. We were the guy that's got us down there. A quick little screen pass to Beard. Beard out here playing boxing, bro. <laughs> Beard is out here. Tank punches, man. He picks up. Beard picks up 25 on that quick stream pass. Fourth and 10. Y'all know we're going to go for it. And right here, we break one tackle. The defense staying disciplined, but they're not disciplined enough when you got this kid at quarterback. We up 21 to 14 to play action pass. And right here, costly decision. Thinking that he could use his arm to fit the ball in tight spaces, but that's one knock on Trey, man. We all know he has the arm strength, so sometimes he believes in his arm a little too much. And right here, we just escaping the pressure as we do. Pick a lot of yards, man. We pick up at first down. We're still up 21 to 14. Good job by the offensive line. We break one tackle. You, bro, when you come tackle this dude, you have to wrap up. You have to. He scrambles and he picks up 24. Like I said, it's major pressure on the defense, man. You turn your back on him, it, it's not a good idea. It's Beer end up capping off that drive, and we up 28 to 14. And right here, all kinds of time, we just going to take off and get what we can get. As I say, when you have a quarterback that can run like this, not only run, when you take away the run, you expect the quarterback not to be able to pass, but this kid can run and pass. And right here, this 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 is his highlight moment right here. <laughs> Yo, just go ahead and get this dude the fucking Heisman Trophy. Right now, bro, look at the arm, look at the placement. The ball out in front, Mac, the 58 yard touchdown, bro. This kid wasn't highly recruited coming out of high school. And right here with another second interception on the game. That's okay. We're going to make those mistakes. But second and seven, Beard decided to take the read option handoff. And he is down the sideline. And he picks up 39 yards on the play. And we are 42 to 24. And we throwing it deep again. Let's go, Mac. Now the big question remains. From what you all seen in this video, this kid is missing in the Heisman Trophy for now, but do you think he will win it? Y'all let me know. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.